Sam. This tunnel sometimes floods. It's really dangerous. <coughs> Don't worry, Mandy. I'm coming down. Hey, Mandy. Here's some water. Oh, thanks, Penny. I slipped. But I think I'm okay. You're a long way down. What do you think, Penny? I can't carry her up. There's no room for us both to fit. We've got to find another way. What's that noise? What's going on down there? I can hear Station Officer Steele working on the handcart. Hmm. Oh, she'll be growing batty wings by now and hanging upside down. Poor Mandy Bat. Moose, is there a map of the caves? Yeah, right here. These are the caves. They go into the mountain this way. And the old mines go into the mountain this way. They get pretty close, just where Mandy is trapped. All ready to go, thanks to two experts. <laughs> it needs two drivers as well. Who's coming with me? You're the one who knows about emergency rescues, Norris. Sam, thank you. You two need to be a bit more careful. Sorry, Sam. Uncle Sam, look over there! Oh, no. We have to deal with that before it spreads. What? Where are the beaters? The what? The floppy shovels. Ah, you see, the thing is, we used them as paddles. Last time we saw them, they were floating off down the river. It was all Norman's fault. I don't care whose fault it was. If we can't beat out that fire, it's going to spread fast. No broken bones. It's just badly bruised. Thank goodness for that. What on earth has been going on here? We've been getting fit. Well, I hope you had a warm-up before you started. Well, I... And built up slowly. <laughs> <gasps> There's a woodland fire near the mill. There's a woodland fire near the mill. Hold on! Where do you think you lot are going? There's no way this crew is fit for duty. But there's a fire in the woods. I'm afraid, sir, this is down to us. What? Oh, oh yes, us. <laughs> yes. I, I'll just get my helmet. Stay well back, everyone. Help will be here very soon. Up 
Where's the rest of the crew, sir? I'll explain later, Sam, but we're here now and ready for action. OK, then. Let's get this fire under control. You two take the hoses. I'll start beating. This could have been easily dealt with if you boys hadn't lost those floppy shovels. Sorry, Fireman Sam. In this hot weather, it's vital to be able to put out small fires quickly before they spread. I should never have left them alone with that cooking stove. That's true, Trevor. Ah, oh, nothing like getting away from the office and putting out a good fire. Don't you agree, sir? Absolutely. Absolutely. Are you OK, sir? You sound out of breath, old chap. Wow! Sarah, that's amazing! What's amazing? Where? Thanks. I made it. So, who's ready to play one of my games? Yeah! yeah. Anything but uh, make a mummy. But, so this game is called In the Tale on the Spooky Cat. Can anyone else smell burning? My house! My cats! <sighs> ah, this is so nice and peaceful. We have to call Fireman Sam. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Scanning area. Kitchen is clear. Station Officer Steele has finally given up on the toffee apples. Yeah, he's just there, Elvis. Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh! There is a fire at a children's party at the Holfish Cafe. There's a fire at a children's party at the Whole Fish Cafe. The fire's getting worse. Everyone, lie down on the floor. Get as low as you can. Come on, let's do as Penny says. The door is blocked and the children are trapped in the back. Elvis, you take the holes and I'll get the crowbar. Firefighter, Sam, air 100%. Ready, Elvis. Firefighter, Ready, Sam. Air 100%. Keep back, everyone. One at a time, take my hand and stay low. <laughs> That's it, Mandy. Come to me. Where are Sarah and James? <laughs> Did you manage to get all those pizzas in your oven, Hannah? Just about. It was a bit of a squeeze. Great. I'll call Grandad and tell him they're nearly done. Don't call Grandad, James. Call Fireman Sam. <laughs> Two oven fires have broken out at the Whole Fish Cafe. Two oven fires have broken out at the Whole Fish Cafe. Penny, you and Arnold go in Venus. We'll take Jupiter. Roger, Roger that, Sam.
hundred percent. Arnold, you shut off the electricity. Penny, you put out the fire upstairs. Roger that, Sam. Power off, Sam. I did it! I got out of my animal rescue uniform! I'm ready to fight the fire! I'm sorry, Elvis, it's too late. The fire's out. Oh. Wait, it's not too late. What is it, Hannah? I put lots of pizzas in our oven and turned it up really high. Oh, no! That might be on fire, too! I'm on my way! One hundred percent. Power's off. I'm really sorry. I got everyone to cram too many pizzas in the ovens. I think I got a bit bossy. A bit? <laughs> I know you were trying to help your granddad, James, but you should have waited for your mum or dad to do it for you. I'm sorry, Sam. We should have kept more of an eye on them. There is a hill fire in Pontypandy Park. There's a hill fire in Pontypandy Park. Penny, we'll fight the fire from the bottom of the hill. Elvis and Ellie, evacuate everyone from the stand. Air, 100%. I'm glad everyone's safe. Whenever there's a fire on a slope, it's always important to stay below the flames because fire and smoke travel uphill very quickly. I'm sorry, Fireman Sam, and I'm sorry, Bella. I just wanted to watch the football, but I should have been concentrating on the pizzas. Oh, I understand, Norman. After all, I love my football as much as you. Really? Sorry to ruin the celebrations, Norris, but have you forgotten our long-standing rule? Winner buys dinner. Uh, uh, what's that you say? Bacon and maple syrup, eh, Norm? <laughs> yeah, I'll have a barbecue shrimp, thanks, mate. Uh, smoky pepperoni, please, Norman. Spinach pizza for me. Hold the cheese. Can I get a calzone? Rolled twice with a crust no more than 45 millimetres thick. Can I get a shepherd's pie? Not a bad game today, Norris. Thanks, old sport. Weren't too terrible yourself. My I'm ball! Norman, what are you doing? Dad said it wasn't ready. I'm just testing it. What's up? Scared you can't bounce as high as me? Course I'm not, but come on then, Mandy. Prove it. I sing my song still, I think I'll burst But I never forget the time of I'm on first I love to rock and I love to swing But the thing I love best is when that fire bell rings 
a ding a ding a ding a ding just one more verse everybody knows the time of fireman first Flat and Norman Price are on an inflatable bouncy castle that's heading out to sea. Castle heading north, northwest, sir. Roger that, Ben. This is all your fault, Norman Price. We'll be fine, Mandy. This thing is full of air, so how can it sink? Oh, no, not you again. Shoot, shoot. Find Tom. Visibility is worse than I thought. And the current's quite strong. Boat engines. I'm here. Hello. I'm here. I'm, I'm over here. Nothing's coming up on radar. Tom's dinghy may be too small to show up. Just keep your eyes and ears open, everybody. I can't hear me. Oh! Hey! I'm over here! Hey! I'm over here! Hey! Whoa! <laughs> what do I give to be back in my helicopter? The wind is northwest. The tide turns in three hours. Plus, there's a spring current running. There. That's where Tom should be. And Sam is searching over here, in the wrong place. The wrong place? Sam! Come in, Sam! Charlie, we're listening. You need to change course. Tom should be west of Pontypandy Island and a lot further out from the shore. Are you absolutely sure, Charlie? I've fished here for years, Sam. I'm as sure as any Pontypandy fisherman can be. Penny, Ben, you heard Charlie. Let's change course. Roger that, Sam. Hang on, kids. Will Tom really be where you said, Dad? I hope so, Sarah. I really do. Oh, I'm not sure how much longer I can hang on for. An engine? It's, it's a boat. Hey! You filmed me! There you go, Tom. Oh, thanks, guys. I thought I'd have to swim for it. It's Charlie you need to thank. He told us where to find you. Ahoy there! Thanks, Charlie. If it wasn't for you, I I'd still be out there, mate. You're a legend. I guess something went right today after all. <laughs> oh, Dad is the best! He's the coolest Dad ever! All those who agree, Sound your horns! Hooray! Hooray! Well done! Come on, 
now, you lot. Gathering close. I, I don't know what Sam was on about. We're easy to photograph. Cheese! <laughs> Are we ready? Fireman Sam, standing by, sir. Firefighter Philip, standing by. Firefighter McKinley, standing by. Firefighter Morris, standing by. Wallaby One, standing by. Well, this is relaxing. Right. On with the show. Oh, hello, Ponty Pandy. Well done, Elvis. Oh, yes. Well, well done, Cridlington. Always knew you could do it. <laughs> right, all clear, everyone. Back to the station. Well, I just hope that Mike does as well as me. Hello, Ponty Pandy! I'd like to introduce you to the new member of my band, the Strum Master 2000. This place I know where the people say hello. Your new band member's not exactly Elvis, is he, Dad? He will be. Turn it all the way up, Joe. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh no! Elvis really wouldn't do it like that. Someone needs to call Fireman Sam! Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Elvis, you and Ellie go in Jupiter. Penny, you and Arnold take Venus. I'll take Mercury. <laughs> Arnold, you get everyone to safety. Elvis, make sure the power's off. Penny, you help me tackle the blaze. Roger, Roger that, Sam. Sam. Power's off, Sam. I don't think the Strum Master 2000 will make it to his solo. Move back, everyone. Yes, you all need to be at least 5.5 metres further back for maximum safety. All out, Sam! Yeah! Yay! Uh-oh! Ah! Cut! Cut! I think we'd better call Fireman Sam! James Jones is trapped in a garage full of burning oil cans. James Jones is trapped in a garage full of burning oil cans. Sorry, Ryan. It's an oil fire, so we'll need the sticky foam. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. Air, 100%. Benny, you shut off the electricity at the mains. James? 
He's fine. It's a good idea not to keep oily rags lying around. They can catch fire easily. Oh, I'm really sorry, Sam. I, I will be more careful in future. And Norman Price, next time you make a movie, have a grown-up supervise all the stunts. Yes, Fireman Sam. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry I've put you in so much danger, James. Norman, we can't film anymore. All these rescues have almost filled up my memory card. Oh. Really? Norman Price S. Jake Pond, International Firefighting Super Spy. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Dangerous stuff is my middle name. No, it's not Norman. It's Stanley. Mom! <laughs> 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 Maybe you are a professional actor after all, Sam. Oh, thanks, Penny. That stunt double is fabulous. Who is he? The name's Sam. Fireman Sam. An emergency flare has been fired from Ponty Pandy Island. Penny, get that tune ready. Elvis is on his way. in the current. They're searching the island. But we're over here. Anything? Nothing, Penny. Sam, they're not on the island. They can't be far. You keep looking there, I'll go north. Hey! Over here! You don't think we're stuck out here, do you? No way. Not with Sam and the team looking for us. They'll find us. Told you! It's Ben and Hannah. I found them. We're on our way. It's my fault, Sam. I should have stopped when I felt my shoulder go. Well, we all push beyond our limits sometimes, Ben. Lucky you had Hannah with you. You OK, Hannah? I didn't finish. Off you go. Finish the challenge. Really? Well, she might need a bit of help. Go, Hannah! Huddle like the wind! You did, Hannah. We knew you would, didn't we? Yeah. So let's have a big cheer for Ponty Pandy's new kayak challenge champion, Hannah!
rounding up the runaway sheep now, sir. Thank heavens for that. <laughs> Come back here, you scabby bag. My poor little vegetables. Got you. Ready, everyone? Three, two, one! Ooh. Ah, now it really does look like Ponty Pandy. Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Elvis, bring Saturn. Sausage rolls! Stay calm, we'll find them. I'm launching Saturn now. There he is. Norman, grab on to this. Come in, Elvis. Norman is safe, but I can't see the dog. Saturn's found Lady Pufflepaws. She's heading towards the ocean. We can't reach her in time. We can, if we take a shortcut. Get ready, Penny. Come in, Elvis. Lady Pufflepaws is safe, well, and, and very licky. Norman, you know, if pets are in danger, owners should never try to save them. Always call a rescue service. And never play near water unless an adult is there to watch you. I'm sorry. But you did show you cared. Maybe you are ready to have a dog of your own. No way! Dogs are naughty. You tell them one thing, they do another. And they're always getting into trouble. Sounds like someone else I know. Come in, Penny. Steel here. I love my new desk. But why is there a slide in the lounge area? I thought we could keep the slide. We'll remove it immediately, sir. Oh, yes, really. Ah, you may have to remove me first. If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help you out. So move aside, make way. 